Hi guys, welcome to my December on a reset with me where instead of setting goals and tracking habits, this month we're gonna take a step back and just enjoy the holiday season. And I'm gonna get to that in just a little bit and what unresetting means to me. But first, let's go over my November goals and see how we did it. My first goal was to post twice on YouTube and I unfortunately did not meet that. And honestly, I didn't post at all last week. I just got into like this little rut, I guess, and I'm kind of just getting back out of it now. But in a way, I don't regret not posting at the same time. So I think it was like a nice little needed break. I am, however, getting on my shorts game, kind of. So I did post six shorts this time, this month. I think that's kind of my fallback. I get so overwhelmed with my long form content and my shorts that I don't really know how to intertwine them sometimes. I don't know if I make good shorts and if my shorts should just be long form content. So I'm just trying to get into the group of that which i think is messing with my scheduling and stuff so i'm just gonna try to focus on my long form and then make short form as it just pops in my head i totally forgot about planning my content for the next three months i did plan for november december and some of january i think planning for three months in ahead is a little far-fetched just because you never know what's gonna happen from now to three months especially because i do things like vlogs i have my pregnancy vlogging things i like to do i want to do some sit down videos so i did about a month and a half to two months of planning and that way i can have a good mix of both so in terms of that i didn't do three months but i did do some planning so i'm gonna give myself that one now for my daughter's birthday plan and prepare um i could say i failed i'm currently like last minute trying to buy things on amazon trying to buy things at target and unfortunately, they do not have Prime for the theme I'm going for, which is Bluey. My daughter does not watch a lot of TV, but she does watch Bluey and she loves it. She loves to sing the theme song. So I'm just gonna make her a little birthday celebration Bluey themed. And so her birthday is this upcoming weekend. And I started trying to buy things on Monday, but they don't have Prime for some reason. So I was able to find a couple things at Target, but we're arriving on Friday. I went to Walmart and I got so disappointed because they had no themed things. And overall, I did not plan and prepare, but I'm scrambling now for decorations and all that fun stuff. I am so excited about this one because I actually did start my scrapbook this month. So far, I've only gotten two pages done, but let me tell you, it, I'm so excited to just keep it going. I was so afraid to start because I was afraid of messing up. I was afraid of not doing it cute enough but now that i get started i feel like i have the motivation to keep going and i realized there can't really be any mistakes in scrapbooking because it's what you make of it plus you can always do add-ons later like if you want to add stickers if you want to add other wallpapers to the back so there's really no way to mess up a scrapbook which i think was holding me back but now that i got the bob rolling i'm really 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 excited to just finish this up for her but then i also have to start on this new little baby's scrapbook because i don't want to wait two years to start that one and i have not deep cleaned my home but my in-laws will actually be coming in two days so i actually plan on deep cleaning tomorrow possibly so i will film that and technically it's gonna be in november because today is november 29th so i'm probably gonna do the deep clean on november 30. you know so I'm not gonna mark it down because I haven't done it yet, but it's gonna get done in November. Now I'm just gonna get a nice little cup of hot chocolate because that is what I'm craving on like these cold winter days. And let's talk about what it means to unreset for me. For the rest of December, sit down videos will probably take their place here behind the Christmas tree because honestly, it's such a beautiful sight and we only have it for such a short time. So I'm not 100% going to enjoy it. Just I'm going to enjoy this little hot cup of chocolate. Oh, that is so good. I'm actually kind of hungry. I actually want to make like some toast with this and call it lunch. <laughs> Now let's talk about my own reset for December. So throughout the year, as you can see on all my monthly resets, I take the time to track my habits, start goals, and all that fun stuff. But for the month of December, I just want to switch it up and really just enjoy December. I want to focus on not setting expectations and really just enjoying each day for what it is. Obviously, it's the holiday season and I will be having a family over. I want to enjoy that. And honestly, I want to end the year feeling good and not really being met with goal disappointment, not meeting goals. And that's something I can do for the rest of the year. But I just really want to take the step back and chill for December. Honestly, I think that unresetting for December is really going to help me for the 2024 goals and goal setting because I just get a month to just take a step back, see what I really want to focus on the new year. 
and not have just the constant planning on the back of my head. So that way, when the new year comes around and January is here, I can actually have a nice fresh mind and have that excitement builds up towards setting more goals and things like that. I'm really just going to have two intentions for December, which is going to be spending time with my family, my immediate family and family that's coming over. And two is to focus on creating a magical holiday season for my daughter. She's a toddler. She'll be turning two this week and she's already starting to get the feel for the holidays, the Christmas tree decorating and things like that a lot more than she did last year. So I really want to focus on creating this magical experience for her because honestly, as kids, I loved it that obviously a lot of you guys did too and now i'm the person the mom who makes these experiences for my kids and that is to me such a fun responsibility we have so many responsibilities in life already especially with kids you gotta keep them alive and keep them safe and this is just a really really fun one hey baby you woke up from your nap <laughs> Speaking of, she just woke up and she is right here with me to film the last part of this video, which is a little fun part of going over my November monthly favorites. My number one favorite has to be the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Guys, I did not use brow gel for uh, any time ever. I have never used a brow gel in my life. And so when I started using this, like if you guys have seen my past videos, my eyebrows are always all over the place. Like they'll be brushed one second and then I'll do something and they'll be like facing down. With the brow gel, it fixed that problem for me and I am never looking back. Funny thing is I was at Ulta and it was one of those little sample sizes. So I just got to try it and I am not going back. I'll try different brands, but I need a brow gel and I absolutely love it. Another favorite has been the Target yoga pants, wide leg pants, flare pants, whatever you want to call them. Um, they're the leggings and they are so comfortable. I'm used to the tight leggings, which is fine, but as I'm getting bigger in pregnancy, it's starting to get a little uncomfortable and the wide pants are just so easy going, flowy, comfy. I bought one pair because it was on sale, but I'm gonna go ahead and get like two or three more because I think I'm gonna start living in those instead of my regular leggings. My third favorite might have something to do with pregnancy, but it has been chocolate ice cream, guys. They're Haagen-Dazs chocolate ice cream. I'm usually a white chocolate raspberry truffle, something like that, but lately I just want chocolate. Chocolate ice cream, chocolate Hershey bars, chocolate kisses. I am obsessed and that's probably not the healthiest thing ever. But the baby wants what it wants, right? <laughs> and something I've been enjoying and making this month have been cappuccino drinks. I usually make like a caramel macchiato at home, a nice coffee or like a hot one. But I actually tried making some cappuccino drinks with the one of the Nespresso pods and it actually comes out pretty good. So I've been enjoying that as my morning coffee pretty much daily at this point in november and before you guys comment yes you can have a coffee if you're pregnant as long as you have 200 milligrams or less a day and obviously get it approved by your ob i did so don't worry about that that's my november monthly favorite wrap up and guys i'm honestly so excited for december it's such a nice little magical month of the year and i know that for a lot of people it's like go time like go season but honestly this is a reminder to just take a step back and enjoy it too you know and to also remember that not everything is about gifts and not everything has to be expensive. Handmade gifts are great options as well. I want my daughter to learn that too, but obviously as first time parents, we get so excited buying her a billion things. Um, but that's a lesson, oops, sorry. But that's something I'm gonna work on next year for sure. And just teach you that the holiday season is not about gifts, but instead of just spending time with family and even making something from your heart. I think I've said it before, I'm like a savvy person. If you hand them make me something that's personal, I love that so, so much. And with that being said, this is my last monthly reset slash unreset of the year. I can't wait to see what 2024 is gonna bring, what goals we're gonna set, how life is gonna look, because to me, it's gonna look a lot different with two little kiddos anyways guys thanks for joining in i will see you guys next time if you enjoy monthly resets definitely consider subscribing because i'm not gonna stop at 2024 i'm gonna go hard if you enjoy motherhood and pregnancy videos subscribe as well because i am living in that stage of my life right now and i guess forever where i currently have a little toddler and i'm pregnant so i'll have two kids under three years in just a few months so if you think you're gonna enjoy that stay along and i'll see you guys next time